Well, the rain keeps coming and trying to spoil our plans. Not to worry, there's still jobs we can carry on with in the greenhouse. It was a while I was having a quick look around the greenhouse, and then I had the sweet corn, I just lifted the lid up and saw. We just started lifting the reds up, so I'm just starting to germ now, now. And it was then I realised about the pot I'd put on the kitchen rail in the uh, greenhouse in the garden. Once I lifted the lid, I had this nice surprise. I'd completely forgot about these, and as you can see, all of them were germinated, a long tail on them, and they're ready to spread at the top, so they need potting up, but uh, none of them have grown through the kitchen rail, which is an added bonus. So I'm just going to pot these up now. This is just a, a three inch pot with a bit of old comp this verve compost I'm using out the bag. Just put a little depression in there like that. Grab hold to one of the sweet corn, pop him in, cover him up and give him a water. We'll see how he goes. Just a quick look on there, the brassicas are doing fantastically. After potting on, I spent a few days, probably a week or so, putting out new roots and now the foliage is starting to grow again. These are the stragglers, what was left after I potted on. You may recall there was one, the cabbage, the all year round cabbage, which was very, very slow anyway. This is it on this very end row here. So I'm going to be starting and pot about 10 of these up now, I think. Again, I'm just potting the brassicas up in this three inch pot with clover. And all I'm doing is bodging a little hole in with my finger. Got the seedling here. I'll just pop that in. Right the way, nice and deep. Firm it in. So it's well supported all the way. Because the soil level's low on here now. I've still got a bucket of the compost mix that I've mixed up for when I was doing the carrots earlier on in the week. So I'm just going to top that off with that better compost. So that's another 10 potted up of the cauliflower all year round. It's most noticeable. As you can see there, the difference between the other brassicas, considering they was all sown on the same day. Anyway, I'm sure they'll catch up. All I have to do now is to label the pots up with the number seven, I think these are, the all year round cauliflower. With these spare brassicas I've got left over, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little trial of a, I'll pick a couple of the same variety, maybe calabrese, maybe cabbage, not sure yet. And what I'll do, I'll plant them into a clear plastic drinking cup. I'll put one with the, the same soil and both, but I'll put one just as is, and the other one I'm going to add mycorrhizal fungi and actually see if there is a difference when you add mycorrhizal fungi to a brassica. Now I'm struggling a bit for room, but there you goes anyway. I've filled the two pots up there. The potting mixture is the a bit of verve compost mixed with the F2S and charge in there it's the potting mix that I use for the carrots so I've mixed it 50-50 and I've filled both pots up and these are the two plants I've chosen then both of them are um, Calabrese it's the Iron Man variety so I'll be potting one up as is and the other one I'll be adding charge to the mixture and we'll see if there's any difference in the red growth this is the first one to go this will be the plain one Bodge my finger in the hole, put the plant in, put him in just below his first set of roots. I'll leave that there for a bit while I prepare the next pot. This is the second one, I hope you can see this, so I've tried to zoom it in a bit better. I'll just do a little hole, same depth again. This time we'll be adding mycorrhizal. Plant in now. I'll do two leaves. I hope you can see this. Budget down. Plant it. I'll get them both the watering. So 
there we have the two specimens. Obviously the one on the left is the one with the mycorrhizal fungi and both of them plant three which is the broccoli iron man. One thing I didn't mention while I was putting those uh, two broccoli in doing the test is that uh, is something I noticed last night. Fortunately, I was watching um, a, a channel, Dean's Lost the Plot. If you haven't been out there, go and have a look because he's got a great channel and he does some good work on there as well. Um, and one thing he did mention was that when you're using mycorrhizal fungi, is to use rainwater as opposed to tap water because the chlorine and that will counteract and attack the mycorrhizal as it gets wet. So. I did bear that in mind and I have used rainwater to water those plants in so uh, I just thought that's worth a good mention anyway. Well the uh, weather's still not playing ball that, and that means we can't get out on the allotment. Anyway I thought for a change I'd take you to my local fruit farm and let you see what they got for the gardener. We've got some uh, Levington both M3 and M2 and also a decent selection of grow bags. In the summer all these fields full of fruit and veg for you to pick it on, predominantly strawberries. But here they have a few tunnels where they grow potted plants and also some veg as well. The plants are based on what size pot they're in. And we get around now have a quick look at the stuff for the gardener here, the vegetables, and these are the tomato plants. And what we'll variety of these, these are called Tom Red. And moving across here. We've got some uh, sweet corn. More tomatoes here. Again, these are tom red. And on the end, we've got alicante. Here we have some nasturtiums. These are 139 a pot. And a quick round here to some uh, runner beans. And now they're 129. Some more broad beans just popping their heads up. And there's some nice sweet peas here. And back again onto the runner beans. Some really well developed onions. These are mammoth and then would fly away if you put those in the garden. Really good condition. Everywhere we look there's tomato plants and there must be about 10 different varieties. And then 99p each, or three for 249, which is a good price, I'd have thought. Moving on to the veg plants, these are your, um, uh, cabbage, greyhound cabbage, and these are there's ten plants in a tray for two pound twenty five, or you get three trays for five pounds eighty five for the same amount of plants and price. And then we've got Brussels sprouts. Moving across round here. We've got cauliflower and, and this variety is all year round. I'm actually growing this variety myself. These are just a, a round head cabbage. Again, the plants are in excellent condition and really good value for money. A good selection of lettuce with a little gem there, and also across there is Webb's Wonderful. Another wonderful selection here of various herbs, thyme, sage, dill, parsley, oregano, mint, rosemary, thyme, you name it, they've got it. I didn't buy any plants on this occasion, but I did have a few polystyrene boxes that got lined down. They'll, ideal for putting the leaks in. We're in the greenhouse, I'll just quickly show you the peas. One of the subscribers asked regarding how they were doing, and uh, under there, I tucked them under the shelf, they fit nicely in the bracket. There's the other one underneath, and to be honest, I was going to actually do a re because it was very, very slow. But the last few days, the temperature, the extra few degrees, they've started to pop the red up, and so they look as though they're well on the way now. It's hard to film because everything else is in the way, but that's the idea. There is another tray which is over the back here, which is predominantly in the shade and that's got nothing showing at all so on it at the same time but if we just have a look I noticed in the corner I could just see one of the heads parking up so <coughs> I'll lift a few days and if there's no joy with that I will end up re this one well we got the welcome company of the sun I 
think I'd make a start to down the strawberry bed. I've only just sent away for some weed suppressant membrane, so that, that'll take a few days. However, right now I can take the cover off, get all the old rubbish out, and probably put a bit of manure on the top as well. Just looking at this, you can see it's a right mess. There's brambles in, dandelions, and everything, besides the odd few strawberry plants. So the plan for the next hour or so, or however it longs, to rip all that out. And I'll see how good the membrane is, but I've actually ordered new, as I said. So we'll see how it goes. Well, that's the first pass over the bed and I must admit I'm quite happy with that. It's got most of the strawberries out and the bindweed and what have you. What I plan on doing now is to give this a little light dressing of uh, well rotted horse manure and then possibly put some uh, rock dust on the top as well. And this is one bay of gold I've got. Can't emphasise enough how much this is valuable to the allotment here and I think everybody should try and get at least one bay going with rotting horse manure in. This has been in about 9 or 10 months. It was originally level with the top of the, the board and you can see how much it has dropped. At the same time you can see the quality of that and that's beautiful stuff. That's the bed now, top dressed with horse manure. I'm just going to put a bit of rock dust on and then just wait for the cover to arrive. You may have noticed the intro was slightly different on this one, mainly due to these couple of characters Compao Seminite and Nora Batty. For those of you across the pond or whatever you are who are not familiar with them, they're from a British sitcom called The Last of the Summer Wine. This was a carved by South Poor Davy in Switzerland and uh, it was a result of his thousand subscriber competition which I gladly won but it wasn't just a matter of me winning the competition because uh, I've been a, a long long fan of summer wine for many 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 years in fact about 20 years ago I bought a sketch a pencil sketch of, of Bill Owen compo with the help of trying to get it signed but fortunately unfortunately Bill passed away in 1999. Ironically, when Bill passed away, it was on the day of Kathy Stafford played Nora Batty. It was on her birthday, which is a bit ironical. Anyway, summer wine. Thanks very much, Dave. They'll be treasured forever. They won't end up in the greenhouse. No way, mate. Them staying in the earth. Fantastic. So going back to South Pole, Dave. If you haven't been to his channel, go and have a look. Cause there's two or three videos of him actually carving the two characters I've got there but he does some wonderful things as well in fact he's just built a lovely greenhouse on the end of his uh, what I call his bunker and he's meditated bits of wood and he's made a fantastic job so if you haven't been across I'll put the link underneath Southport Davey, Dave is a nice chap and he's got a great saying it's nice to be nice 
that's about it for this one so until next time i'll see you later bye for now